ニューヨークシティから2時間半ほど北にあるアショキャン貯水池です今日はこの貯水池をよく題材に絵を描いているケイトマグロコリンさんのところに行こうと思ってますケイトさんはウッドストックスクールオブアーツで30年以上も教えているベテランの先生で私も大好きな人の一人ですさあどんな創作風景が見られるでしょうか Hello Kate Hi Mimi How are you doing? Good, how are you, Kate? Thank、I'm、you so、good. much for having me.、Oh, I'm so happy to have you here. Well, I'm glad you came to my studio. Okay, this is Kate's studio. Yeah, please take a look around. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are a painter and a printmaker.、Mm -hmm. and mainly, you do a lot of landscape. Could you tell us about、uh, what you do, what you paint? Yeah, what I paint. I, I love the natural world, Mimi. So I love working in plein air, which means outside in,、uh, in the world, in nature. I take small kits of paint and I find beautiful places to paint. And a lot of times、uh, when I'm there, I make little sketches, little sketchbook drawings. And then I come home and I do these larger paintings. In my studio, I mostly paint large paintings of the Ashokan Reservoir. I think you know it well. It's up there. You walk there. And it's a very、uh, inspirational, beautiful place. And、uh, so mostly I paint large paintings of that. But when I'm working on plein air, I paint anything that's beautiful. So, how long have you been painting? A long time <laughs>、uh, 45 years. I started when I was, well, I guess a little bit more than that. I started when I was 13. But started really painting when I was 16, and I'm 60 now, so a long time. But my parents bought me a, a set of oil paints when I was in sixth grade, which was、wow. really smart of them. I know, I don't know where they came up with that one. One of my teachers must have told them to do it.、Yeah. And,、mm -hmm. uh, and then when I was in college, it was all studio work. I, only, I, went, out, <laughs> I went out one time with, in a watercolor class, and it was a disaster. I fell apart completely. I didn't know where to look. Everything was just too much. It was the desert. I had no idea like, what I was doing. It wasn't until I came to the Woodstock School of Art that I started、um, painting in plein air with Stotts.、Um, and then personally with Bob when we would travel, Bob Angelock.、Um, and I learned from them. I really learned how to paint from those two men, really, Bob and Stotts. <laughs> right, and then now you get inspired by those,、uh, those artists.、Mm -hmm. And then now you're inspiring a lot more people here, too. I'm really lucky that way. I'm、yeah. part of a long lineage of great painters、yeah. who, who took artists out for over 100 years in Woodstock. People have been doing this. 100, well, 100 and change, 120, something like that. Right. You are, you are continuing that、uh, legacy of the Woodstock.、Uh, it's important to me.、Yeah. That and printmaking, both of those things I want to keep going. And I'm, I'm very happy to be that link in that chain. <laughs> Well, I, I, I love a beautiful, beautiful vista, but it can't just be beautiful. There has to be some edges and some contrast, some places where light really plays on form. That, that's what I really like. A, a lot of times, a lot of the plein air paintings have buildings in them, and that's just so I can capture the light、mm -hmm. or the light in between spaces. That, I, I love that, the light in between spaces.、Mm -hmm. When light animates a place or like, You can be looking at the same thing, and then 20 minutes later, it is a completely different pattern because of the shadow. I,、mm. that, that I love. So, your studio has a, such a big window, and it's so airy and、uh, great energy here. Yeah,、and、thank could, you. Could you tell us about your studio? I can tell you a lot <laughs> about my studio. You said the magic word, and that is great energy. And I built it on the golden mean, which is 1 to 1.6, the, the, the dimensions. So the, the length of it is 1.6 times larger, longer than the width. And I also have 10 foot to 12 foot ceilings, so it feels more cathedral like. <laughs> the golden mean is what the ancient Greeks said it's a perfect human proportion. Humans feel good in this proportion. And I'm going to tell you, Mimi, everybody that comes in here does the same thing. It's not about my work. They're like, oh, what a great space. And it's 
the windows are great. You know, the, the light that pours in. Uh, we, we watch shooting stars from here. I watch snowstorms and rainstorms are great because of the metal roof. Really, really, really great. So this is my painting area because the natural light comes in. I always have a palette out um, and that's always ready to, I, I can paint within five minutes. So I don't have to, and all the paint is right here. But I, I'm also a printmaker, so I have a small etching press, which I'll show you later, and uh, a Vander Cook, a, a lino cut or a block printing press over there too. Um, I have flat files for storage of my prints. And it was important to me to have a big working wall. Uh, storage, I have storage up there that I could use twice as much storage. But I built another building, <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe it'll get that way. I, think I would tell any artist, storage, bookshelves, flat files. And then enough space to get back to take a look at. I, I have like 25 feet. Well, I, well, usually it's about 18 feet that I can get back from the painting. And that's really important. I also need a sturdy work table. This was on wheels. So sometimes it's over there and sometimes it's here. Whether I'm making an etching or a litho or a monotype or a painting, it starts with a, a sketch for me. Because I work out the design details. Like I remember what you know made me be excited to be there, right? Um, but then I work out the design details there, so then I can just whoosh, scale it up and paint. That's what I do. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. So I just have like a whole collection of moments from the Ashokan Reservoir. So anyway, keeps me out of trouble, like I said. <laughs> Uh, Iceland, Oaxaca, 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 home. Uh, what does that one say? Antrim, so Northern Ireland, Barcelona, Ireland, South Africa, a mix, Scotland. <laughs> These are all Monhegan. Here's my, show my, my teacher. There's Bob Angelak and me on Monhegan. That's out at Lobster Cove. But I mean, this is my life right here. This is where I've been and, and what I've done. And a lot of times in the front, like, um, let's see if I have it now, now that I said it. Oaxaca. I often have the name of the people who came with me on these trips to Mexico, and or I, I'll have their view, you know, like, oh, there's these wolves. I was with Dean when I uh -huh. drew that, you know what I mean? Like, right. I remember who was with me, and right. that means the world to me. So that's, that's what I get my inspiration. Uh, well, I know by now <laughs> that if I don't, I cause trouble. I'm no good... I mean, I'm meant to do this. I feel my best when I'm engaged in this kind of work. It becomes like a meditation for me. When I'm walking to, to have a sketchbook, you know, all, all the time practically, um, it brings me into the present moment. And I know that sounds, you know, whatever, but I can be very much in my head otherwise and just kind of wandering around and be not have focus and not have purpose. But as soon as I have a pencil in my hand and a sketchbook, I know what I'm doing. And it's the same is true if I have a knife and I'm carving a wood block or painting or you know, making any kind of print. I, I'm more myself. That's why I do it. I'm more myself. That's that's a good way to say it. Today's studio tour, Hanajo's work, visually, is a special feeling. 